This is my review of Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. It's a really nice figure right here. Just picked them up at Walmart along with uh, Bumblebee right here. They're both uh, Cybertronian mode vehicles, which is pretty cool. Considering most of the time, Cybertronian mode vehicle is just another word for folded up robots with wheels or landing gear or wings. But uh, these actually look like real, real vehicles that you could actually use on Cybertron. It's pretty cool, probably because it came from the game and uh, the game designers designed it instead of uh, the people at Hasbro. So, people at Hasbro are not very good at designing uh, Cybertronian modes. Most of the time they're just folded up robots. Just saying. But yeah, it's really cool. Has headlights right here. Nice bumper with the uh, pink decals. Has the same decals on his tires, which do have a star in the middle. So uh, he has pretty high class tires right there. Just look at him. Uh, cool smokestacks. Just overall, just awesome vehicle mode. It's a little small, but who cares? Cybertronian. Uh, Optus Prime does not have to be bigger than anything, but uh, he is. Longer than Bumblebee, but Bumblebee is a lot wider. I just love this uh, neon pink uh, paint they use. Just makes them look really high tech. Cybertronian. Kind of reminds me of Tron. But anyway, definitely an awesome vehicle mode. It does come with this black gun thing. And when you do that, it transforms into his uh, robot mode gun. You could put it up here, but it looks kind of ridiculous. I don't really keep it there. Yeah, so overall, awesome, awesome vehicle mode. Yeah. To transform him, I guess first you want to flip down these things because it becomes kneecaps. It's a pretty complicated transformation, actually. But, uh,. It's doable. Especially uh, going from robot to vehicle mode. I did it without instructions. Kind of took me a long time, like an hour. But uh, it's, it's worth it. So uh, you want to unpeg this blue thing. Unpeg this blue thing from his uh, arm. Which is peg to. Unpeg it. Unpeg it. And you kind of have him all broken in half right here. Just kind of move all these panels out of the way so uh, you get to them later. Take this part, just flip it up. You just want to unpeg everything right now and then you could work on folding him back into a robot. You got that. You're going to flip these tires up. Well, I guess you want to do that, save that for later. Just flip these uh, blue pieces back for now. That. Kind of got to move these smokestacks so you can fit. I mean, if you don't transform them correctly, everything just crashes into another. Just kind of sucks. It's a pretty complicated transformation, but kind of satisfying. Take, split his legs, and you want to unpeg it right here, and then you want to slide it back like that. I'll show you again on the other side. You unpeg it, the unpeg it there, and then slide it back. I mean, I didn't expect that joint to be there, so when f first transforming him to uh, robot to vehicle mode, uh, I was just kind of stumped. Just want to take these, actually, put these wheels back, take that, rotate this, put it in. Do the same on the other side. And there you got his legs. There's an abomination of red blob right up here, which will become his upper torso. Uh, I'm gonna flip this blue panel up. 
there's two hinges, so flip it up like that. Then you gotta deal with all this crap. I guess first flip these things to the side. It'll free up his uh, arms so you could pull his arms out. And then you could flip them all the way back if you want. So here's where it gets a little complicated. There's like two two hinges in here and you wanna rotate them so that everything aligns. So take this, rotate the bottom hinge, rotate it around like that. And the top hinge it goes back like that. So basically you just wanna rotate it so this thing's on the back and this part's in the front. And then you could accordion it in. And you have him like that. See, I did not expect this to rotate right here. So when first transforming him, I was... This got me stumped too. But yeah, the front of his chest does rotate. So it goes correct. And then you just want to straighten him out a little. Flip this down. And then you got Optimus Prime starting to appear. It's pretty cool. You can flip up his head. Just strain out his arms. Uh, arrange these panels any way you want them. I just prefer to keep them like this. That up here, that there. Yep, yep. Just flip out his hands from the bottom. Flip out his hands from the bottom, and uh, pretty much Optimus Prime right here. Just want this backpack actually is supposed to peg in the back of his head. You see, there's a slot right there, but that'd be kind of ridiculous. So I just kind of leave it there. Because it would restrict all head movement. Or you could just actually fold it in like that too. Doesn't matter. Just, just leave it hanging there. Whatever. He's still cool. Now you could take his Ken. Which has a pretty pointless flipping gimmick. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's kind of cool. But it's completely pointless. It's just, Saves you the motion of doing this. But yeah, he can hold it. You could shove it into the side of his arm. So he could have a side arm gun. And, uh, and you see there's this other peg right here. So you could shove it in with that peg. And you could have a side arm gun that's slightly differently positioned. I just keep it in his hand because uh, it's how the original Optimus Prime held his gun. And it's just, he's just a, uh, he's just badass looking. I think this is one of the best Optimus Prime figures on a deluxe scale. I mean, he has decent articulation, he could do action poses, whatever, knee joints, rotations, just basic stuff. He does have a waist joint, but it's all the way up here and you gotta have to unclip him to make him turn, which is kinda stupid. But it's not missed. He's Optimus Prime. He's a leader. He doesn't need crazy articulation. He just needs to uh, lead the Autobots into victory with his giant cannon. And I do like his head joint. It could bob all around, do crazy motions. Let's see. It's pretty cool figure. Nice detail. Whatever. It's gun. Fist. It's just overall. Crotch shot. Crotch shot. It's just awesome robot mode. I'm still debating whether it's better than Bumblebees. But it's pretty sick. Gotta get him. He should be in your stores. And that's about it.
size comparison for you. Oh, there goes Sunstreaker. He's a little shorter than Universe figures, but I don't care. This new generation's line looks pretty awesome. Bringing uh, classic and new characters together in uh, cool ways. A lot better than the movie line. I just gave up on him for Decepticons. They just look stupid now. But this cannon, pretty cool. You can shoot it at you. You can uh, do crazy kneeling, kneeling poses where he's like pointing his fist at you. And then he could hold his gun at to his side and start uh, tearing up the place. Because he's Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime does things like that. You don't want to mess with him. Leader of the Autobots. War for Cybertron. Optimus Prime. Signing out. Just look at that. That looks awesome. Why wouldn't you get this?